Hi there, and let's get right to it. Inside of the sizing palette of DaVinci Resolve, the column on the left-hand side is dedicated to blanking, which some of you may be more familiar with as letterboxing or pillar boxing. This is when you apply black bars to an image in order to adjust its ratio. These controls are not available for every single mode, so you can't really apply this on a clip-by-clip -clip basis unless you're in the edit sizing mode, in which case it's referred to as cropping. So the only place you'll see blanking available will be in output sizing, which means that it will be applied to the entire timeline. Once I switch over to output sizing mode, I now have access to the blanking controls and I can start manipulating the top, bottom, and side values of my image. But doing it by eye is not recommended because you might end up with unevenly spaced blanking and more importantly, blanking that is not industry standard. So, to save yourself the guesswork, and to speed things up a little bit, you can use the presets available in the Timeline menu at the top of the page. Here, you can go into Output Blanking and choose from this list of the most common industry standard screen ratios. By the way, this is not to be confused with the aspect ratio selection you have in the View menu, which is only there to act as a guideline for your title and action safe lines. So this will in no way crop your image or affect your output. If there's a ratio that you'd like to apply that's not included on this list, you can generate your own preset by first calculating the amounts that you need to trim from the top and bottom of your image, and then saving them as a preset inside of the sizing palette. So let's create some customized blanking. Let's say we've got a client that's asked us to apply a pretty extreme Ultra Panavision 276 ratio to our image. I'm going to have to take the width of my image, in this case it's full HD, so it's going to be 1920, and divide it by the ratio that I want to apply, which is 276. I'm going to bring up a calculator and say 1920 divided by 276. That's given us our new height. We'll round it up, so 696. And we now have to subtract this new height from the old height to find out how much we need to remove from the top and bottom of the image. So that's going to be 1080 minus 696 and divide it by 2 to find out what the size of the blanking is. So that's 192 pixels from the top. And then we just subtract 192 from 1080, which is 888. I think that looks pretty correct. So I'm going to click on create and give it a pretty good descriptive name. So 276 to 1 Ultra Panavision. And most of these values have not been touched, but the top and bottom blanking is secure. And I'm going to save this. From now on, anytime I need to apply this to future projects, I can just use the drop down arrow on the right hand side and I'll find it here. I can also prove that this blanking has now been applied to the entire timeline by clicking around on the other clips and demonstrating that they all have the same ratio. I'll leave some links in the description for online tools that you can use to calculate more obscure ratios that are not available in this uh, drop-down list, and I'll also include the formula that I just used to calculate this blanking. If you'd like to further adjust the framing of your image, this is possible by switching back into input sizing and adjusting the tilt of the individual clips. So the footage behind the blanking hasn't been destroyed, it's still there, you can always reveal it or hide it based on how you want the clip to be framed. The last option we have at the bottom of the blanking controls is the smooth checkbox. This will turn on anti-aliasing on the edges of the blanking and override any anti-aliasing that you applied to resized images in the timeline. If you find that the blanking starts to look too blurry, then you can just turn this off. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time.